Okay, so let's look at an example of a piecewise function. So let's say that g of x is equal to x minus one if x is less than one. It's equal to zero if x is between um, one and four. So one is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to four. And it's equal to x minus two if x is greater than four. So first thing that it wants us to do is to graph this. So we're gonna have three separate pieces of a graph and we have to be careful, we have to be cognitive of where our domain is for that equation. And so for the first equation, x has to be less than one. And so well, maybe you could plot points here if you want to. So let's say y equals x minus one, x is less than one. Even though if it's not defined at an end value of our inequality, we always wanna see what's happening there because we're getting really, really close to that value but not actually there. So I'm actually gonna plug in one into this first equation. So if X is one and I plug in one into this first equation for I get Y is one minus one is zero. Just wanna put a little note to myself, this is an open circle. Might as well just go ahead and plot it. So I know when X is one, my Y value is gonna be zero, but that's gonna be an open circle there. So let's put an open circle there. And I have to choose numbers less than one. So if I plug in zero for X, zero uh, minus one gives me negative one. So when X is zero, I have a Y value of negative one. If I plugged in negative one for X, negative one minus one is negative two. And so I noticed that this graph is a line and to the left of X equals one, it's, it's looks like it's going downwards, but that's actually increasing. Okay, so now look at the next piece. So the second equation, well, that's just y equals zero. And we're using that value for any value of x between and including one and four. So when x is one, always have to check at the end value of our inequality. So when x is one, if I plug it in, there's no value of x in this, so it's y is zero. This is a closed circle because it's included in that inequality with the equal sign. So actually see how this open circle here at one zero is now gonna become closed because of this second equation. I know any number in between one and four is always gonna give me zero. This is a horizontal line. And when I hit four, I get zero and it's included in this inequality. So again, it's a closed circle. Okay, so we just graphed the second equation. And then the last equation, we have X minus two. And so looking at that, This is for X greater than four. So Y equals X minus two. But we also, again, wanna see what's happening at that end value of our inequality because it's getting closer and closer to on the, um, the right-hand side of four. So let's look at what's happening if we plug in four into that third equation. So four minus two, that gives me two. But this is an open circle. So when X is four, I have a Y value of two. So an open circle here. 
So choose an, any number bigger than four, so five. Five minus two is three. So five, going up one. You know my graph is a line, and it's gonna look like this on the right of four. Okay, so first part of the problem, I wanted us to graph that piecewise function. Part B of the problem says, find all the values where the function is discontinuous. So let's find where f g of x is discontinuous. Well, because we graphed it, it's easy to see right away where it's discontinuous. I noticed that that x equals one, we're okay because we ended up filling in that circle. Um, we're not okay though at x equals four. So it's discontinuous at x equals four. And then part C, find the limit from the left and the right at any of the um, values x found in part B. So they want us to find the limit as x approaches, in our case, 4 on the left of g of x. And it wanted us to find the limit as x approaches 4 on the right of g of x. If we didn't already graph this, we would, we would be OK, because we have our function. And so if you were choosing numbers to the left of four, those are numbers, right, that are less than four. Plugging in numbers less than four. Well, if I'm plugging a number where x is less than four, that would be saying I'm using the second equation. So this would be the limit, in this case, as x is approaching 4 on the left. The equation I would be using in this case is 0. This would equal 0. So up to 4 coming in, my y value I'm hitting is 0. But if I'm looking at numbers that are to the right of 4, So these are values where x is bigger than 4. For our inner um, piecewise function, numbers that are bigger than 4 says to use this third equation. So this would be saying, let's look at the limit as x is approaching 4 on the right of the equation x minus 2. So if we did that and we went in and just plugged in our value wherever we saw an x, 4 minus 2 is 2. And we can see that also from the graph. So x is approaching 4 here, following it on the line. Even though it doesn't ever hit there, the y value it's getting closer and closer to is 2. So if we had to explain why this was discontinuous, at x equals 4, it's because the limit does not exist. So the condition that the limit has to exist doesn't hold. If they had asked you, find the value where it's discontinuous. So if it said, find g of 4. So we'd have to, if we didn't have the graph, we could go up to our, where our piecewise function, look at which inequality it's true for when x is 4.
we would use our second equation. And so g of four in our case is zero. You can see that right here, it was a closed circle at four. <clears throat> 